Hello and welcome to the next installment in the Cisco Talos video series. Today we are going to talk about malicious MDM, what it is and how it can be abused. But before we get started, let's briefly talk about MDM or mobile device management. Mobile device management is a common way for organizations to enforce security policies on device that are not typically under their direct control. This typically is through programs like smartphones and tablets. As with any type of technology, adversaries have really begun to abuse it, and that's exactly what we're going to walk through today. Here you can see a typical iPhone. Uh, the way that this attack actually starts can vary pretty significantly, but it ends in a user going to a specific web address or URL. As I said, there are ample different ways you can actually achieve this goal, including through email, browsing the web, instant messaging platforms, or even via social engineering phone calls. Regardless of the method, the user ends up at a URL much like this one. As you can see, you are immediately asked to allow the initial redirection and allow the remote management process to begin. Now, once that's permitted, you're brought to a new screen where you actually enroll the device. As you can see, you do have to click through a couple of install prompts and then finally trust the remote management system. At this point, the adversary has effective control of your device and can do things like push applications, change configurations, as well as in some cases, pull data off of the device. Now what we're going to do now is push a malicious WhatsApp applications to the phone. Now you can see there is already WhatsApp installed, but we're going to deal with that in a minute. First, notice you do have to improve, approve the individual app installation. Uh, once that's done, you can see here there are now two WhatsApp applications. The problem is how do you get rid of one and force the user to use the malicious one? The answer lies in a pretty clever solution age restrictions. Since a device is being remotely managed, the bad guy has the ability to push a policy restricting the applications that are available on the phone. By setting a low age, they'll end up removing a lot of applications. As you can see here, the original WhatsApp application has now disappeared, and the only thing that remains is the malicious version. And that's that. To take control of a user's phone, push applications, as well as changing the configurations. Thanks again for tuning into the latest video from Cisco Talos. Stay tuned for the next threat that's setting the internet on fire.